What's up guys? Scott here with Wandering the Wilderness. Got another one for you. Out here on this pond again, trapping some beaver, and uh, caught another one. This one's probably a two-year-old. Uh, the ones that I caught yesterday, both of them were probably twice this size, so that'd be my guess that this was probably the offspring of the others. Uh, but what I wanted to show you was how to reset a 330 bear using a rope. Now there's uh, tons of videos out there on that. I just have never done one. So I thought I would show that to you guys. And this is the technique that I really like to do. You get you a good rope that's probably about six to eight foot long. The thickness of it, uh, you're gonna probably want at least quarter inch or thicker. This one is probably half inch, a non-static line. This is a climbing rope, so this isn't gonna break. These springs have a lot of weight on them. And if you can take a look here on the 330 trap, it has these eyelets, or these uh, loops, at the end of both sides of the spring. So the way to use this technique is you run the loop up one end and through the other. So you have both ends of the spring, uh, the rope is through. You can take your tag end of the rope, both ends, and put it through your loop. Okay? I like to adjust it to where it's on the top of where the opposite side of my catch okay so then what you can do is you can see how I got that rigged up all right you want to step on or support the bottom some people may not like the way that looks sorry it's just part of trapping so then you pull up on the tag in and your goal is to pull this spring up to this one so you can flip your safety and you want your safety to be ready Again, these are heavy duty springs. You get your hand stuck in here, it's gonna break some bones, all right? So be extra careful when you're doing this, all right? So you give it a good pull, and you may have to adjust it so that it fits around that center section. Pull it up, and try to set your safety. In this case, my safety got in the way. I'm gonna have to lessen it back down, move my safety, there we go. Pull it up and set my safety. All right, that spring is set. Get it out of the loop. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Put it on one loop. Do your other. Pull your tags through. Take out the slack. Have your safety ready, close up to the top where you're going to latch it, okay? Pull straight up. And pull up your safety. Alright, so now the spring are both set, but the safety's on. So you're not going to catch yourself, all right? Move these two springs over to the pivot point on the trap. It should open up, and you can remove your catch. As you see, that's a pretty good-sized beaver. All right. And now your trap is ready to reset. Be careful when you're setting this back in. When you uh, set your dog on your trigger, these safeties are gonna come loose. And the other thing to be mindful of, and I've caught myself on a couple times, is after I've set my trap, the safety in the water has flicked back over the spring. And so I've lost my, my trigger to actually release because the safety's set. So make sure when you set it, that you're careful and that both safeties are out of the way. So, just wanted to show you this technique on how to use a rope to set a 330 conifer. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.